What up Naughty Steppers? It's Connor Whitmore here again with another video for you on the Naughty Step channel. And in today's video, I'm going to be talking about the new single from Temanite and MDK, Space Invaders. Sam Norris is back with his third track and third collab of 2019. Following the kooky electro swing experiment, party like it's 1923 with Swing It Dixie Band, and the pretty loud and in-your-face mayhem alongside Wales. A track that I found decent, but which I wouldn't say knocked my socks off. To be fair though, pretty much any song would have paled in comparison following his uprising album of last year. My undoubted favourite of 2018, and which still very much blows my mind today. But fair play to Norris, he's very much back in the swing of things, and so here we have Space Invaders with MDK also known as Morgan David King, who, like Temanite, covers an array of different forms of dark electronic music, and also has quite the animated, lively, colourful aesthetic to boot. So this very much seemed like a match made in heaven, and one that on reflection I'm surprised didn't happen earlier. But is the track as fantastic as the promise of the collaboration may suggest? Uh, in parts, yeah. Space Invaders is undeniably one of the most outright fun and enjoyable bass tracks I've heard this year, with a collection of moments that leave you satisfied with what this collaboration offers, but there are also fundamental aspects of it which stop me from enjoying it to the max. It kicks off with a fantastically uplifting, glitchy video game opening. Definitely took me by surprise, but in a very good way, sets the tone for the energy of the track as well. <laughs> enters following that, however, is a house beat that for me is a little awkward and rough around the edges. A section that grows into its own with some vintage electric musicality from these two, but the beat is certainly without flow, which makes it quite difficult to get into. And you'd think following that intro, and with the title being Space Invaders, that it would all round be quite a quirky track, but the builds before each drop take it down monstrous avenues with these dark, overlord vocal samples, which are great because they provide an image for you, the sky is turning black, the aliens are descending. Yeah. And the evil synths at this point do a brilliant job of ramping the track up and hyping you for something epic. Whilst the first drop is stylistically a good reminder of Prime Far Too Loud, production wise it doesn't feel very full, which again unfortunately I have to attribute to the percussion. The overlaying sounds are awesome, the distribution of them, the definition, the musicality, pure flavour, but again the drums seem stuttered as if they're playing catch up with what's on top, which is quite inescapable when listening to it, meaning this jigsaw of sounds doesn't quite fit together. It is classically frantic and manic from these two producers though, which just about carries it through. I could say the same for the midsection really, which builds on the sprightly video game theme. Some genuinely amazing synth usage here, the direction and journey of these notes is so joyful and infectious. But again, the percussion is a bit off and that stops me from fully enjoying it. I like the dreamy, airy development though, presenting us with the track's main image once more. Gazing at the dark sky as it opens up, and the aliens unleash pure hell. And you know what, at this point, I'm not hugely looking forward to the second drop because of the issues that I had with the first. But honestly, this sequence completely flips the track on its head and it all starts with this sensational vocal sample. <laughs> I mean, that's just, um, that's very, very cool. In this second drop, more space is filled, it's more ravenous, got these jagged effects which are very riveting. Weirdly enough, it's harsher and has bigger sounds, but it still seems way more refined and put together. Maybe the synths are so prominent that they distract from the percussion, 
but the flow just seems much better here. The progression is the same as the first time around, so again, the percussion is an issue. But each time I listen to this track, I feel like I appreciate it more the second time around. The emotion of it resonates more when it's repeated. Also, the way it keeps building and expanding is exactly what you'd want from these two. So yeah, props must be given for that. Great to be reminded of the opening sequence at the end as well. It is just properly cheeky. But overall, as you've heard, this track is very much a mixed one for me. The general energy and execution of the melodic elements is very good. It really takes you on a journey in that respect. I also enjoy the length of this track. It's characteristically playful and uninhibited, and they certainly delivered on that front. But percussion plays such a vital role in any EDM track, and at the most important moments, I'd say it falls flat here. I also feel, especially with those beastly vocal samples, like the track could have taken an epic turn at some point, maybe with a massive dubstep breakdown or something of that ilk. But perhaps that's just me knowing what they've done before and having some sort of expectation, which wouldn't be fair. Fundamentally, Space Invaders offers a lot, not only sonically but also structurally in the transitioning from section to section. But it does fall short in that vital way, which for me prevents it from being a truly knockout tune. And so there we have it. My thoughts on the new track from Temanite and MDK, Space Invaders. Uh, what did you guys make of it? Are there any moments in particular that stood out to you? Let me know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this review, then be sure to give it a big old thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, hitting the notification bell along the way, social media accounts in the description box down below. If you would like some other Temanite related videos on the channel, check out the link right here. And lastly, if it's naughty, then you know guys, so be sure as always to keep it naughty and stay safe. And I shall see all of you legends in the next one. Peace out.